Okay, I'm going to try to make a quick video here. I ordered the foil quill this past weekend and went and picked it up. And I also ordered some Glimmer foil off of Amazon. Now, Glimmer was a different system by Spellbinders, but I have a feeling that the foil will work with this because it's not a toner adhesion foil like the Mink system, which I also have. This is more of a heat bond um foil. So I've loaded my mat with the glimmer foil at the top and the normal foil that comes with the foil quill at the bottom. And I wanted to do a test to see if the results and the quality are about the same because this might give you some other options. Not that there's anything wrong. You get a pretty good amount of foil with the, with the foil quill if you buy the box of foil that comes with that. Um, it's about $10 and it's about 11 and a half inches wide by, I think it's um, nine feet. I could double check that. But with this kit, it's like 12 or $13 on Amazon and you get four rolls and each of the rolls is five inches wide by 15 feet. So, but you get more of a selection for roughly around that 10 to $13 mark. Because I feel like um, when I would foil, I'm probably not foiling a whole page. I will probably get silver in the big roll just in case I do foil a whole page. But normally I'd probably just be doing cards and stuff and wanted a broader selection of colors. So I actually ordered the gold kit, which comes with gold, matte gold, silver, and matte silver. And I also ordered the, I'm going to call it the Christmas kit. It's called the Variety Pack which comes with, again, gold, silver, green, and red. So I'm testing these out to see how they perform. I have my design loaded. I'm going to write um, glimmer and the glimmer foil and foil quill and the foil quill foil. And I think I have everything ready. This is my third time trying to do the video. I will say be very careful with this cord because I was doing pretty good until my cord was laying on my mat and it got sucked in right onto the rollers. So please hold your cord and keep it out of the way so there's no casualties. And then I throw off my alignment. The machine is fine, but I throw off my alignment so I had to redo my paper and retape down my foil. So I'm going to hit continue here and connect my maker. Because I turned it off and on so it would recalibrate itself. Just waiting for the machine to be ready here. And you can see, I'm just gonna pick, I don't know that the cardstock has makes any difference when you're writing, but I'm just gonna pick um, light cardstock. I'm not gonna press it on fast mode because I want it to take its time and spend as much time um, making sure it makes good contact and has good heat. It says midnight pen, that's just what you need to do. You set it for different pens or different colors of foil and then you can swap them in and out. Usually people put stuff on the bottom part of their mat here. That way you can change the foil in and out. This is just a test, so I'm just using I, I've aligned my foil on my mat. I don't really need to take it off and then put a different foil on for this example. So I'm just gonna hit my go button here and then we'll see how it goes. And I'm using the medium tip on the foil quill. I got the kit that has all three, so I have the fine, the medium, and the bold. And I did a test with the foil quill foil when I first got it, and it is pretty amazing. I also have the mink system, so it gives me just some ability to use foil in different ways. First, I was contemplating, do I really need it? And then um, I like anything that goes in a Cricut. <laughs> 
So I um, I read about it and then I was like, all right, I gotta have this, I gotta try it. I think it's cool, especially for stuff that I can't necessarily put through my laser printer because um, I have a laser printer, so I can do all kind of foil mink stuff. I have a laminator, um, but if I want to do embossing on or foil on leather or I want to do it on any kind of different surface that I can't laser print, then this is a perfect option. So it's almost done. As you can see from the screen, it's just writing out the foil quill and then we're going to unload. So we look at both of these, you can see it definitely wrote, um, there's the glimmer one, here's the foil coil one, now let's take off the washi tape and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good, I'm trying to do this one handed so bear with me. So there's the glimmer one, that looks pretty good. And then um, let's see if the foil coil one looks any better. I think they're going to look about the same. While the golds are a slightly different color, and I can probably show you that. Here is the um, two different golds. You can kind of see uh, they're pretty. They're pretty close. I would say the glimmer one is more gold. And the, um, it's more yellowy gold, and the foil quote one is the less yellowy gold. So then let's look at the results. So if I look at the letters, this totally works. The glimmer foil, the foil quilt totally works as well. It's interesting on the F, um, it didn't adhere as good as it could have, but um, I've seen reviews where you're using cardstock or something, you can run it twice to make sure it really adheres. But that wasn't the purpose of my video. I think the results are equally as good on both of these. So this glimmer foil totally works in the foil quill. So if you see those, I know that Spellbinders, I don't know if they still make that hot foil system. It's where you can take your dies and heat them up and then run them through your, your like cuddle bug or something like that and it um, makes any of your dyes get hot and then transfer that design. But these foils totally work in the foil quill. And um, I have another one coming. There's a pack where that has, I think, pink and teal in it and some other silver. So for $13 for each of these packs, I get four colors for the $13 as opposed to one color in the foil quill system. So I don't know how much more cost effective it is, but it does give you another option where you can get um, smaller rolls and maybe have less waste and get more colors. So I was kind of excited about it. I'm glad they worked out today and I don't need to return them. And again, I'll just kind of pan down and you can see um, the foil quill, move it around a little bit. And then you can see the glimmer. Definitely no issue whatsoever. Um, with using the other foil. And if I were to do this again, I might just run it twice because you can see even on the glimmer up top, if I went over twice, it would have adhered more on the top of the G. And down here, the same thing said for the foil quill on the F. So I'll do more testing, but um, if, you, if you see these out, I think that um, they're a pretty good deal and they work with the system. So that's it, thanks, bye.